Hi there, once again welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a golden text effect. A golden text effect in Photoshop. Okay, so we're going to create something like this using Adobe Photoshop. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. So this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to create this golden text effect using Photoshop. So go to file and then click on new. Let's set our background. We're going to set our background size to 10 by 10 inches and the resolution should be 300. Okay. And then we click on create. Okay. So this is going to be our background. Basically, we want to apply a dark background color to this. So just, so just go to your layer panel and click on adjustment layer. Click on that and go towards solid color. Just click on that. And then we should change this to a dark background color. Okay, something darker. And that should be good. We're now going to type our text. And I'll select my horizontal type tool from my tool panel. And then click on my page and then type my text. So I'm going to type 2022. Okay. And this is my text. We need to change the color of this text to appear something to be like a good color. Okay. So I'll select my type two, my horizontal type two, and then highlight my entire text, select my color, and I'll make sure I select a color that appears to be a good color. Okay. So I think this is okay for now. And we'll go to the next stage. Okay. We want to basically have something similar to what we have over here. We are creating good text effect okay so let's come back to our layer and then let's click on this from our layer panel double click on that from the layer panel to open your layer style so now we are at our layer style now and select what bevel and then emboss okay so when you click on it it should give you this settings these are settings i've already set for my previous design so it automatically pick this but i'm going to show you how to do these settings so for the style Initially, you may have it around outer bevel, but make sure you change the style to what emboss. Okay, change your style to emboss. Change your style to emboss and check your technique to what chisel. Change your technique to chisel hard. It may be as smooth at the time you lock on or at the time you launch this. This will be at what chisel hard. You can switch between any of them. Okay, you can go to chisel hard or smooth. So if I go with smooth, you should be seeing something like this. This also appear to be gold color. You can switch and then pick any of them you want. We have the chisel soft as well, which will appear this way. For this tutorial, let me just go towards smooth. I believe this also appear to be very nice. And then let's increase the depth to around eight, 844. Okay, you can increase or reduce the depth. So just switch and then see the size that will be okay for you. 792 is also okay. And then the size, okay. You can just switch the direction from down to top. So this is how my down is going to be, but I prefer to go to top. And then the size, I left it around 84 bar. I think any size should be okay, depending on what you want to achieve. And then the softness, I'm going to leave it exactly at what zero. When we come back to the gloss contour, we have several options that you can switch between to see which kind of good effects you want to achieve. So just switch between them and then look at what you want to do and then pick that one. Okay. In my case, I'm going to pick the third from the bottom. I'm going to select that and that should be good for me. And for the highlight mode, I'll leave it as screen. Opacity, I'll increase it a bit to around 80, 90. That is okay. In the shadow mode, I'll leave it as multiplied opacity. I'll leave it at 44. Okay. You can set the opacity to any color you want. So basically, this is how to create good effect using a bevel and an emboss option. You can try and adjust the setting to any effect that you want. Okay. Once you are done, this sparkle, this I just sparkle that I download online and then I just apply that to it. If you want to do that, you can also download that sparkle and then use them as well. So I just drop that on part of my image which show that it shows some sparkle okay or it is glowing okay so i'll just hold down alt and then drag that and add it to some few more part of my design to make it appear to be like something which is sparkling okay 
so this is basically how to create a simple good text effect using photoshop subscribe and turn on post notification what techniques and tips i'll be sharing on this channel so you don't miss any of that thank you so much for watching this show tutorial till i come away till i come away again bye bye